What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 50 minute Tabata cardio and glutes workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up guys, welcome to your 50 minute glutes and Tabata cardio workout. We're using our heavy dumbbells today, so make sure you've got yours ready. I'm using 15s, 20s, 30s, and 40s for mine today. Again, make sure you have, I always suggest at least two options. So if you have those, a lighter and a heavier, grab those. Also make sure you have water and a sweat towel. I've got the pink one today, which is restocked. So if you wanna grab yours when we're done here, you can check that out in the description below. I link all kinds of stuff there on our website like merchandise, sweat towels, glute resistance bands, which if you have those, you can grab those as well and use those for this workout, okay? <sighs> I'll be honest, this is my fourth time recording that intro because I've messed up so many times today. I'm just excited to get into this workout. So let's go ahead and get started. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. I'll explain the workout in the warm up so we can rock it, okay? All right, big wide stance. We're gonna start with a hinge motion first. Okay, shifting your hips back and squeezing forward. In three, two, one, here we go. Shift back and squeeze forward. Shift and squeeze, good job. Feel that stretch in your hamstrings and then squeeze the glutes to activate them. There you go, one more reach and squeeze. Good, all right, let's step it out into a long lunge. Okay, drop that back knee down and straighten both legs. Down and up. There you go, good. Down, stretch the hip, up, stretch the glute and hamstring. So we're gonna operate today in superset style, which means we're gonna do two weighted exercises for your glutes. Good, kick that leg back and let's switch legs and we'll keep going. Okay, down and up. Two weighted glute exercises for 40 seconds each and then we're gonna go into Tabata cardio supersets. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. Okay, and that'll allow you to kind of keep the heavy weights out for your strength circuit and then throw them out of the way for the cardio. There you go, one more, back and up. Kick both legs back. Walk your hands back in, slowly come on up. Let's go hamstring, high kicks. Here we go, alternate legs. There we go, good. We've got bridges, we've got deadlifts, we've got fire hydrants, we've got some pike leg lifts, squats, squat and kick back. We've got a lot of fun today, a lot of variety. Good, one more. And let's open it up nice and wide. Lateral lunges, reaching down inside with your opposite hand as this leg, okay? Switch it over. Each time you switch over, dig that heel down. There we go. Also, make sure you start your breathing now. Glute work, cardio work, both of them require us to be breathing as you push, okay? longer you can focus on your breathing and keep it in rhythm, the longer you're gonna be able to go, which is the more you're gonna be able to work. Okay, so keep that focus. When you feel yourself getting overwhelmed and out of breath, slow the breathing down. Okay, cross your arms over your chest for me. I like to kind of find the pace that I do, whatever move it is, like a glute bridge or a squat, find the pace and then match your breath to it. So if you're breathing in, Go out on the way up, or when you exert the effort. Okay, backwards arm circles, here we go. I'm gonna warm your back up a little bit because with glute exercises, you know you're gonna be using your back muscles as well. Core muscles in general, so abs, obliques, lower back. All right, let's hinge it forward again. Drop your arms down straight here, cross them over. There you go. Keep breathing. All right, let's go butt kicks. Warm up the legs a little bit more. And we'll get started with our very first exercise is a step out Romanian deadlift. And then we've got a staggered Romanian deadlift. Okay, here we go. I'll show you the exercises. Feel free to keep jogging as you watch. First move, step out deadlift. 
You're gonna go close leg deadlift, wide deadlift. Close leg, wide, okay? So grab a weight that you wanna do that for. We've got three rounds of 40 seconds, all right? Here we go, in three, two, one, let's go. Close first, step it out wider, hips go back and forth every single time. They go back, abs and ribs, stay tight. There you go, good. So round one, you can kind of feel the move out. You can kind of figure out, okay, this is the weight I like to use. Round two, maybe you step it up, or maybe you wait until round three to step it up. But we're gonna see progress in three rounds somehow. Four seconds, here we go. Three, two, one. I'm gonna turn sideways. Next move, staggered Romanian deadlift. Feet start right under your hips, kick one leg back. Deadlift, come up and switch. Deadlift, come up and switch. So just a little stagger, okay? Here we go, four, three, two, one. Let's go, kick it back. That front leg is your primary mover. So make sure the back foot isn't something you're pushing off of. It's just kicking it back there to transfer the weight to the front and keep your balance at the same time. I like the stagger because it allows you to make sure you're balanced and the focus is on your glute, not finding a way to stabilize yourself the whole time, most likely leading to you getting more, getting less reps done. Here we go, come on, four, three, two, one. All right, we're back to the top, step out, deadlift. You need water, grab it. 15 seconds, also if you wanna step those weights up, let's go. All right, start middle, step right, middle, step left. Here we go, four, three, and let's go. Remember, abs are tight, core is tight. Try not to super arch your back either. See so many people in training try to shift back and really arch here. Okay, you don't need to do that arch. You need to pull your core in, hips go back, core stays tight throughout the whole thing. Back is strong. You've got five, four, two, one. Beautiful. And we're back to our staggered deadlift now. I want you to just take your right toe back, okay? We're gonna stay here, stagger. Okay, don't move the right toe, keep it back here. Left leg is the primary mover, so left glute, start firing, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, left leg. Reach it, squeeze it back under. Keep the back strong. Come on, push, push, push. Reach it, squeeze it. Shoulder blades stay drawn back. Good job, 10 seconds. Come on, dig that left heel down, squeeze it in. Let's go, three, two, one, rest. Last round of both, okay? We're going back to our step out Romanian deadlift. Then we're staggering with our left toe back, okay? Step it up if you want to. Nine, eight, seven, let's go. Here we go, three, two, one. Step out deadlifts, let's go. Middle, step it out. Your first move, hips go back. Don't bend over it. Shoot your hips away from your head. Good job. Almost there, come on, seven, six. Two, one, rest, and we're back to our stagger. Remember, 
Last round we had right toe back. This round we're gonna have left toe back. Make sure it's pretty close to the other leg and not too far back. It's literally right beside your back heel or your front heel. All right, here we go, three seconds. On your left toe, ready, two, one, let's go. Come on, let's go heavy. We're about to switch into cardio, so push those reps. Squeeze it in. Feel the stretch, squeeze. Good job, come on, 12 seconds. Three, two, one. Great job, you got 20 seconds rest, guys. Throw the dumbbells up, we're moving into cardio. Two rounds of 20 of high knees, left, middle, and right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, join me in four. Three, two, start in the middle, let's go. Four here, turn to the right. One, two, three, four, middle, and then left. Keep going right back around. You got 10 more seconds. And rest. Good, one more round there, then we're switching to another one, okay? So four and four, 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 four. Ready, two, one, let's go. Now that you know it, speed it up a little. Use your arms, 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 come on. Nine, eight, good, five, four, three, two, one. Come down to the end of your mat, lateral chop outs. Feet start together, hands are here, you're going out, out, out. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Breathe. Come on. Ten, nine. In, out, in, out. Four, three, two, one. Rest. And one more round. And then we'll head back to the top. So three rounds of your two rounds. All right, here we go. Two, one, let's go. Good, it's short work, so you gotta give me some intensity here. Let's go, pull your abs in, get a little lower if you need to. Boom, boom, boom. Good, seven. Three, two, one, beautiful. 10 seconds, we're back to your high knees. Four, 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 Four. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Ten seconds. Good. Three, two, one. Rest. Ten seconds right here. One more time. Four high knees. Here we go. Two, one, let's work. Four and four and four. Good, knees up, eight seconds, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five. Three, two, one, rest. Let's start those lateral chop outs down here this time. Remember. Legs are together, arms are here. When they go out, arms go out. Three, two, one, let's chop. In, out, in, out. Good, come on, squeeze your inner thighs to bring your legs together. Five seconds, let's go, five. Two, one, rest, good. One more round. And then last round of both, okay? Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Boom, boom. Lower and quicker if you can. Yes, there we go. Go, nine, eight, 
Seven, come on. Four, three, two, rest. And we've got two rounds of high knees, two rounds of chop outs, and then we're back to some strength, okay? Tabata is intense, so step it up this last round. Two, one, high knees, let's go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, come on. Seven seconds, let's go. A little quicker for five. Three, two, one, rest. One more round of 20. We're done with high knee half circles. Big deep breath, there you go. Three, two, one, last round, let's go. Go, 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 go. Come on. Can you go a little quicker? For 10, nine, eight, Four, three, two, one. Lateral chop outs. Let's go down here. Two rounds of chop outs. We're moving on, okay? Three, two, one. Here we go. Out, out. Good, bend your arms and straighten them. Bend, push, bend, push. Come on. Seven, six, five, let's go. Two, one, rest. Let's walk it down here. Start down here for this last one. You're doing great. Five seconds, big deep breath. Three, two, one, let's go. Boom, boom, boom. There we go, come on, push. 15, 14, 13. Go, go, lower, quicker for nine, eight, seven. Five, three, two, one, rest. Beautiful job, you've got 30 seconds rest. And we're moving back to strength, okay? We've got a slow sumo squat and lateral raise, okay? 20 seconds, first move looks like this. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, lift. Notice my toe is pointed forward, heel is lifting high. Let's go in five seconds, are you ready? Whew. Three, two, one, let's go. Down slow, come up, shift your weight to the other side, lift that heel. Three, two, one, heel lift. Get that glute working. Three, two, one, push, lift. Don't just kick it up there, lift, squeeze. Top part of your glute should feel this one. Sit, two, one, sit, two, one. Good, 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one, rest. Good, all right, dumbbell out of the way or maybe you wanna use it. Next exercise, standing straight leg kick back. I want you hinged here, reaching forward as you kick your heel back. Just the right leg, first round, okay? Drive that heel up. Let's hinge, flat back, hands are here. Two, one, reach forward, heel lift. Down, lift. If you want a little half squat in here, you can add that or you can just go right back up. All five of your toes are digging into the ground, your arch of your foot, your heel, all digging into the floor on this stable leg. Up the intensity by squatting, squeezing. Three, two, one, rest. Good job, we're back to squat, lateral raise. Let's bump it up a little, okay? I think you can. I think you can go up a little bit. 10 seconds, grab that next dumbbell, okay? Just think of it as a squat, controlled squat. And then drive your heel up. Here we go, four, three, two, one, let's go. Slow squat, push, lift the heel. Squeeze it at the top. There you go. Good. Perfect. Heel up, toe points forward. 
Toe points to where your hips are facing, okay? Not up to the ceiling. Eight, seven, come on, squeeze. Let's go four, three, two, one, rest. Good job. We're back. Whew. Single leg lift. So now we're lifting the right leg or your opposite leg, whichever one you did not just lift. Whew. For me, I did my right leg first. So now I'm going left leg. Are you ready? Hinge forward. Three, two, one. Reach and lift. Again, toe points to the floor. Flex your toe up towards your heel. Leave it facing your heel. I mean, flex your toe up towards your knee. Balance is the most important thing here. Reach, squeeze. Reach, squeeze. Good job, 14 more seconds. You with me? Looking about a foot in front of your toe. Four, three, two, one, rest. Last round, can you bump that squat weight up? Yes? You think so? I think so too. I think you can. 10 seconds, big deep breath. Try it out. If you have to, you have to slow it down. I want you to push these heavy weights, okay? Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Squat, lateral lift. Good. Remember, toe flexed up towards your knee, not the ceiling. Towards your knee. And the heel is the highest point on your leg. Yes. There you go. Good, knees out, push equally in both feet from the bottom. 10 more seconds, let's go. Lift, sit. Four, come on, three, two, one, rest. Dumbbell out of the way. The last round of 40, we're gonna split it up. So first 20 seconds, you're lifting right leg. Second 20 seconds, we'll switch to the left leg, okay? Whew. Here we go, five seconds, ready? Three, two, one, right leg only. Lift, tap. Good, strong back, hips are facing the floor. Good, we're going in six, five, switch legs in four, three, two, one, shift, switch, just keep going. Good job, eight, seven, come on. Four, three, two, one, 20 seconds rest. Going right into cardio. Your cardio move, burpee, six high knees backwards, six high knees forwards. Looks like this, one burpee. Six, five, four, three, two, one, six, five, four, three, two, one, burpee, okay? Let's go in three seconds, are you ready? Only 20 seconds of work, let's go. High knees back, high knees forward. Burpee. Five, four, two, one. Rest, good. One more round of that. Woo. Five, four, big deep breath. Two, one, let's go. Boom, boom, and high knees. Traveling, traveling back, burpee. Good job. Three, two, one, rest. All right, next move is a jumping jack with a punch over. Okay, jack, jack. All right, legs are open, punching across, ready? Let's go. If you need to modify, step out, step out. 10, nine. Core is tight, so when you reach, you're not collapsing. Reaching, bracing. Two, one, 
Rest, I know this is an intense cardio circuit. Round two. Ready? Let's go. Over your head, open, punch. Let's go. You got 10, nine, four, three, let's go. Two, one, back to your burpees. You're doing great. Positive talk, yes, 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 I got this. Talk positive, talk positive. Ready? Three, two, one, burpee. High knees up and back. There we go, breathe through it. Come on, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. One more round and then I'll finish our second round of burpee high knees. You doing good? Yes, I want you to say something positive. Yes, 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 yes. Two, one, let's go. Come on, 10 seconds. Go, 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 go. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Whew. Jumping jack punch overs, that'll close out round two. Tabata is fast, it's intense, let's go. Two, one, punch, 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 come on. Good. Keep your hips forward, 10, nine, Eight more seconds. Breathe every rep. Rest, good job. Here you go, one more round. Then we're starting back at the top. Three, two, one, let's go. Boom, boom. Squeeze your thighs together, heels together. Out, in, out, in. 10 seconds. Go, go, don't get sloppy, keep it intense. Three, come on, two, one. Last round of both, are you ready? Burpee, high knees, times two. Let's go round one and four. Three, two, one, let's go. Up and back quickly. Come on, 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, rest. One more time and you're done with these. Eight seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Faster with your knees this time. Let's go. See if you can give me four rounds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. We're done with those. Two rounds of jumping jack punch overs. Hands here, you ready? Four, three, two, let's go. Over, over. Breathing, right? 10 seconds, exhale, exhale. Four, three, two, one, rest. All right, last round of 20, then we get a 30 second rest. So this next part's the good part. Whew. Four, three, last round, two, one, let's go. Over, over, come on. Core tight. 10 seconds, a little faster, let's go. Boom, boom. Six, five, Four, faster, three, two, one, and 30 seconds rest, amazing job. We're going fire hydrants next. So if you've got a band, throw it around your quads. If not, grab a dumbbell and clamp it right behind your uh, knee and, yeah, right behind your knee. This is the knee joint, right? <laughs> Just kidding, right behind your knee, squeezing your calf to your hamstring, okay? In 10 seconds, we're gonna lift. Just left leg, okay? So grab your dumbbell, 
Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Lift it out and back down. 40 seconds right here. And your hands are gonna be kind of centered over the stationary leg. All right, so when you go out, you're not leaning out this way, okay? Keep it centered right over the leg that stays on the ground. Try to give me a little pause at the top. There you go. Good. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one. 20 seconds rest. Now, we're gonna try and keep this leg clamped here. Okay, we're gonna go up into a pike this time. So knee to chest, lift. Knee to chest, lift. If you do not feel comfortable with that, dumbbell is down. Sorry guys, lifting straight leg. Okay, let's go in three, two, one. All right, here we go. Piking, lifting either a straight leg or a bent leg. You don't need to get your knee way above your hips. It just needs to be parallel with the floor. 20 seconds left. Beautiful, that straight leg is burning, huh? Nine, eight, seven. Four, three, two, one, drop it down. Okay, now we're switching legs. Back to the fire hydrants. If you got a band, just switch in sides. If you got a dumbbell, switch legs. You can also modify this to just lift with body weight. Okay, wherever you're at today is exactly where you need to be. Just keep working hard with me, okay? Here we go, three, two, one. Fire hydrant round two, let's go. Good, try to get, again, leg to parallel with the floor. Twenty seconds. Are you breathing? I hope yes. Trying to kick it straight out from your hip. Make sure you're not kicking backwards. Seven, six, four, three, two, one. Rest. Good job. Back to the pike. You're either lifting straight leg body weight or straight leg with the band or bent leg with the dumbbell. Okay, it's your choice. All right, seven seconds. Bring it on up. Here we go, two, one. Let's lift, squeeze, control down. Good, are you breathing? Keep that breath going. If you're clamping a dumbbell, point your toe and you're slamming that calf right into your hamstring. Good. 15 seconds. Seven, six, five. Three, two, one, rest. Back to your fire hydrants. We're gonna split it up. 20 seconds on the right, 20 seconds on the left. If you've got a band or you're doing body weight, won't be too much of an issue. If you've got dumbbells, clamp two. One behind each leg, and then you can just switch right over, okay? Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Right leg, let's go. Twenty seconds here, and then we're switching legs. Let that sweat fall, come on. You got three, two, one, and switch right over to the other leg. Don't stop. Lift, lower, good. I know it's burning. Good, six, five, come on. Three, two, one. Remove both dumbbells, no matter what. If you have a band or not, dumbbells out of the way. I'm not trying to switch pike dumbbells in the air. Woo. Pike position, band or body weight. 20 seconds right here with your right leg first. Keeping it in the air. All right, so let's start straight out. 
three, two, heel flex towards your knee. Let's go, pulse, pulse, pulse. Just move it about 12 inches up and down. Beautiful. We're switching in seven seconds, so be ready. So just drop and lift. Four, three, two, one. Down and switch. Don't hesitate, just go. Good, I know both cheeks are burning. Yep, I feel it too. Seven, six, five, four. Come on, three, two, one. Rest for 20. We're going right into mountain climbers. My favorite, favorite exercise, right? <laughs> mountain climbers is your first 20 seconds of cardio, okay? So in 10 seconds, here, hands on the floor or hands on your dumbbell, doesn't really matter, right here. If you need to slow it down, march. March, okay? Here we go, two, one, let's go! 20 seconds. Good job, five, four, come on, three, two, one, rest. Good job, rest right here. Eight seconds, we're going again, and then we're gonna stand up. All right, here we go, three, Two, one, let's go. Good, come on, come on, come on. 10, nine, knees go, go, go. Four, three, two, one, stand up. Reaching up with your hands, left knee. It's gonna drive to meet your hands. So here, tap, tap, okay? Left leg, let's go. Two, one, come on. If you wanna add a hop, add it. You'll have to straighten up a little bit. If you're not hopping, you're slanted. Go, go. Eight seconds. Come on, three, two, one, rest. Switch legs, okay? Right leg drives up to your hands, meeting right in front of your belly button. Three. Two, one, let's go. Good, let's go, let's go. 10, nine. Go for it, come on, don't slow down. Three, two, one. Back to mountain climbers. I'm using the dumbbells just because sometimes it's a little easier on your wrist. So you can try that if you want. Hands are fine, dumbbells are fine. Two, one, let's go. Come on, work through it with me. Seven, six, five, go for it. Two, one, rest. One more time and we'll be done with round two. Woo. And then we're finishing out with a glute circuit after this. So. We are close. Round two, ready, let's go. Last one of round two, close it out good with these mountain climbers. Nine, eight, seven, can your knees move any faster? Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Come on up, standing knee drives. Big deep breath. Hands up, right leg, two, one, let's go. Up, tap, up, tap. There we go, come on. That's it, nine, eight, four, three, two, one, switch legs. Beautiful job. This will close out round two for our cardio. Last cardio circuit, so we gotta bump it up. Here we go. Two, one, left leg, go, go. Good, up, chop, up, chop. Drive it right here, right in front of your belly button. Seven, six, five, come on. Two, one, last round of both, are you ready? Mountain climbers, let's get these over with. Two rounds of 20. 
Three, two, one, let's go. Go, 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 come on. All right, 10 seconds, a little faster, come on. Woo! Four, three, two, one. Okay, one more round, and then we can celebrate being done with mountain climbers. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Fast feet, fast knees, pull, pull, pull. All right, drop your hips down and go faster. 10, nine, six, five, three, two, one. Beautiful. All right, knee drives. Let's start with the left leg, ready? Five, four, hands up, three, two, one. Left leg, go, go. Nine, eight, seven. Here you go. Three, two, one. Rest and we're over to the other leg. And then 30 seconds rest. Breathe, guys. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Go. The fastest 20 seconds of cardio all day. Let's go. Ten, nine. Faster, eight, seven, you can do this, six. Go, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds rest, beautiful job. We're going to some glute bridges. We've got a weighted glute bridge. First, up and down, up and down with your hips. Second one, we're gonna glute bridge lift, five pulses out and then come back down, okay? 15 seconds, grab a weight you wanna use, probably your heaviest. All right, here we go. Let's go in five. Just your regular bridges first. Three, two, one. Push it up, let's go. Try to hover about an inch above the ground. Dig your heels down and go right back up. Twenty seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Lower to the floor. Next one. You're coming up. Lift it. Five, four, three, two, one. Back down to the floor. Okay. 11 seconds and we'll go together. If you want to switch dumbbells, switch bands, do it. Let's go in seven, six, heels down. Four, two, one, let's go. Press up, five, four, three, two, one. Make sure your outward pulses aren't just crazy spastic outward ex or abductions, <laughs> okay? They're controlled. Good, hold it up there. Don't let your hips drop when you're opening. 10 more seconds, see if you can stay up for the whole 10 and pulse out, out, out. Good job, five seconds, hold it up, pulse. Three, two, one, rest. 20 seconds rest. Ooh. Round number two. Guys, this is it, three rounds here and you've made it, so keep pushing hard, okay? Here we go, eight seconds, seven, Good, three, two, one. Here we go. Up, down, up, down, good. Good, squeeze your cheeks under like you're picking something up off the ground and you're lifting it as high as you can towards the ceiling. Ooh, that burns a little more, huh? 15 seconds, pick it up. Lift it high. There you go. Eight, seven, four, three, 
two, one, out. Whew. Okay. <sighs> Round two. Bridge five, controlled. Pulses out. Don't just lift and flutter, 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 flutter and drop it, okay? Control it. Here we go, seven seconds. Heels on the ground. Four, three, two, one. Bridge high. Five, four, three, two, one. That's the pace I want you to keep. Good, now try to roll your hips back and under like you're tucking your tailbone. You should feel that. When you tuck your tailbone under, like you're rolling your pelvis back up towards your face, should feel it at the bottom part of your glutes, right where your hamstring meets your glutes. Okay, so lift it, tuck it back under. Eight seconds, one more time, hold it up. Five, four, hold it, hold it, hold it. Three, two, one. Two more rounds of 40 seconds. Just the bridge for 40. And then right into just your lift five pulses. Okay? Seven, six. Come on, we got this. Bump your weights up if you haven't already. Three, two, one. Heels down. Let's go. Lift, tuck, drop. Good job, come on. Up. 10 more seconds, keep going. Three, two, one, rest. 20 seconds rest. One more round of lift, pulse out. I'm gonna give you the option on this lift, pulse out to go for the whole minute. Okay, we've been going for 40. Let's try and go for 60. Deal? Try it. Let's just try it together. Three, two, one. Same thing. Let's go. Lift. Five, four. And lower. Now just keep going. Come on. Tuck your tailbone under. Squeeze those glutes. Pick something up off the ground. Hold it. Lift it high. Beautiful job. This is it. Convince your mind you can do this. As much as it burns, as much as you're shaking, as much as you're doubting yourself right now, all those thoughts are gone, right? No more thoughts like that. Positive, let's go. Push through, it's worth it. I can do it. 20 seconds, push through, come on. Good, five more seconds. I'm gonna ask you to lift up and hold and stay there. Three, two, one. Okay, lift, pulse, pulse, pulse for seven. Six, higher, five, four, higher, three, two, one, and rest. Guys, we have made it. Whew. Okay, lay it back onto your back. Let's stretch those glutes out. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Grab that left leg, pull towards your face. Whew. Take a minute to breathe. Close your eyes if you need to. If you can, I recommend it. Good. Shove that top leg knee away from you a little bit more and then pull in a little closer. Good, release that top leg and let's go straight. Grab it, pull back towards your face. Beautiful job today, I'm so proud of you. Proud of you for going hard in the cardio, going hard in the paint. <laughs> All right, let's switch legs, pull. Bend that top leg right over your knee, quad, and pull back towards your face. I'm proud of you for going heavy. I'm proud of you for going hard in the cardio. I'm proud of you for just working hard, for showing up, number one. Number two, showing off for yourself. I'm all about self-care and just the awareness of yourself, all right? Learning to value all that you are is something everyone needs to work on, okay? Straighten that top leg out, grab it right behind your shin, Pull towards your face. One year ago, yesterday, I was shot. I was a victim of gun violence. Dustin, who produces all these videos, if you guys don't know Dustin, 
check out my Instagram, he's all over it. If you're in the Sydney squad, you definitely know him. But we were victims of gun violence, and one year ago today, our story was almost cut short. Okay, drop your leg down, flip over onto your hips. All right, drop your hips down. So every single day for 365 days, I've woken up just thankful for being able to wake up, for being able to wake up beside the guy who took care of me when I did get shot, for kind of still taking care of me, but <laughs> for those five months where I couldn't walk, for taking care of me, for just the blessing of being able to wake up and stand up on your own two feet, that's something we don't think about. For being able to squat, for being able to walk. Walk back to your toes for me. Slowly roll it up. Okay, all of these things are things that you don't even think about until something happens. And I wanna use my story to tell you to inspire you. Not to make you feel sorry for me or not to make you praise me for getting through it, but to inspire you to realize Every day is a gift. Every single day that you wake up, gift number one. You're able to move, gift number two. You have people in your life that love you and care for you, gift number three. You are able to choose how your day is gonna go, gift number four, okay? Don't forget those things. My story was almost over a year ago, and a year to the day I'm more thankful than ever for every single day, for the ability to move, to work my hardest, to inspire you to hopefully work your hardest, to love yourself, to appreciate all the things, the little things, the big things. I could ramble on and on about this, but guys, things like that shock you. And they make you really go back into your heart, into your mind, and think about, are you really giving your life your all? And I know there's always a point where we can all say no. There's always a point where we can think, you know what, this life is mine. It's the only one I've got. Who knows how long it will be, but for right now, for this day, for this moment, I know I can give more because I deserve it and because I can. Not because I don't measure up to someone else. There's no comparison. Don't compare your story to anyone else's. It's your story. And you have to know as the author of your own story, are you writing this story as a story that you'd want to read to get inspired? Are you writing the story as a story that you'd want to tell to generations after you to inspire them, okay? I know this is a big load right now. It's a lot of heart pouring, but I just wanna remind you of the gift of life, okay? I'm so thankful a year later to have survived a gunshot, to be able to love people around me, to be able to pour into others, and to be able to appreciate myself for all the recovery, for all the obstacles, for all the frustrations that could have set me back and that I could have been a victim of. I chose no. I'm not gonna let myself do that. I'm not gonna let myself sink back into that. I'm a victim, woe is me, feel bad for myself. I just chose to be thankful for what I had in that moment. If I couldn't move my body, I had the opportunity to eat well, okay? Simple things like that. What you can't do, don't, don't focus on what you can't do, focus on what you can do, okay? And every single day, write your story. Be the author of your story and let it be a story that you wanna be proud of, that you wanna tell, that you wanna use to inspire others and that you're sure when you read it, you're gonna see self-love, you're gonna see gratitude, you're gonna see appreciation and awareness of your strengths and all the ways that we can keep writing the story to inspire ourselves and to be so, so grateful for the life that we still have, okay? So I'm so very thankful for you guys for sticking around with me through this last year. I know it was a lot, it was a lot going on, but uh, we're here now and we're getting stronger every day. So. I thank you again, again, I thank you every single day. I'm gonna keep thanking you and I'm thankful for my life. I'm thankful for Dustin who's sitting right behind the camera that you can't see right now, but I love you all so much and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Keep writing your story and make it one that you're proud of. Love you guys.